Namaskar. I recently saw one post in LinkedIn. It says, accounting for kids. They are essentially telling the accounting basics which everyone should know, including the kids. I got inspired from the post, so I wanted to make video. These are like very basics which everyone should be knowing already. If not, you will be knowing it from today. Stay tuned. Why accounting is needed in the first place? Need of accounting. Or have you done accounting in your life? In my opinion, everyone has done accounting. Knowingly or unknowingly. If you remember in our childhood, our mother used to give us say 100 rupees and ask you to get some sugar in a shop nearby. You go to the shop, you bought sugar, you got tempted and bought a chocolate also along with this. This might have costed 45 rupees per kg. Don't comment that the price is different, I don't remember. And you took a chocolate, maybe a dairy. So you spent how much? 55 rupees. You came back, handed over the sugar to your mother, and you, you said, I bought a chocolate for myself. Depending on your mother's mood, she may say, Okay, beta, or she might have given you something for spending money on a chocolate. Then she will ask, Give me the balance. How much are you going to give her back? Yes. You initially have 100. After spending 55, you are going to have? Yes, tell me. Yeah. Correct. You are going to pay your mother 40. This is also kind of accounting, right? How much money you receive, how much you spent, and the balance is given back. At least for doing this, you need accounting knowledge. Right? So, let's go each one question separately. What is accounting? It's very basic. Don't judge me by the book definition. If I tell about the book definition in a very basic class, you won't understand. Yeah? So, what is accounting? When a company makes money, it has to keep track of where the money comes from and where it is going. Yes? If a person runs a business or a company, he will make some sales. To make that sales, he need to get some goods, he need to purchase some goods, spend some money on salaries, rent, etc. So, salaries, rent, expenses, income, minus expense then you will get the profit right the process of doing this figuring out what transaction happened in the company preparing a list of all the transactions is nothing but accounting for you okay right the second topic was accrual account accrual Give me a moment to clean this up. Yeah. Second is accrual accounting. Unlike our regular transactions, the company will do accounting even though they have not received the money. It says the method of accounting that records transactions when they happen and not when they receive the actual money. So you are saying transactions accounted when they happen, not when they actually receive the money. For example, I will say I am staying in this apartment on rent. This is May, right? So May 2024, I stayed in this apartment. At the end of the month, 
I am supposed to pay the rent. Whether I pay the rent or not is not relevant. I stayed in this month. I used the premises. So I am liable to pay the rent. So in the books of account, I will consider this as an expense in May month itself, even though I may pay the rent in June or even July. Same happens with sales also. I sold goods to someone, but the other person has not paid the money yet. Still, I will consider it as my income for the month and the amount to be received, I will consider it as my asset that someone is going to pay me money in the future. Right? The third topic we have is, let's see. What is called as income? What is income? Income is the money you earn from doing work or selling some goods or even providing services to others. The total money you are going to earn from your business, you are calling it as income. For example, I run a chartered accountancy firm. So I provide say accounting, auditing, taxation services to my clients. So the money I am going to receive from my clients, I call it as income. Right? You are saying money you earn, earn from providing goods or services is called as income. I hope you understand. Thank you. The next concept is expense. What is an expense? The money you spend on the things you need to run the business. As I said, I have a chartered accountant firm. To run the firm, to provide service to the client, I need an office. Right? Office space I need. For that I am going to pay rent. I need electricity. Electricity bill. I also need to pay salaries to my employees. There may be some other expenditure. Like I, I use a laptop for providing services, etc. etc. So all these things we call them as expenditure. If the amount spent is regarding the business, then only call it as expenditure. Suppose in my office, I spent some personal expenditure. Like I paid my daughter's school fees from my business account, then it is not considered as an expense for the business because expense should be relating to the business, not other. Make sense? Thank you. The next topic is profit. Everyone do business for earning profit, okay? Profit is nothing but the difference between the amount you earn and the amount you spent, right? Income minus expense. Right? See, a person is earning 80 lakh rupees from the business he is doing, like from the goods and services being provided. And for providing that, he spent 35 lakh rupees as the expenditure. So here, 45 lakhs is considered as the profit. Right? Very good profit. Thanks. Nice. The next topic is a little different. Loss. 
sometimes people won't be able to do their business good so they may end up in loss loss is nothing but if the income earned is less than the expenditure then it is considered as loss in the same example say for example i have received only 20 lakh rupees as an income from services but i spent 35 lakh rupees as the expenditure so your expenditure is more than your income so then the difference between these two now it is going to be a negative figure right so the negative figure we call it as loss yeah clear thank you the next topic is asset everyone have asset then asset is something you own something you own from that you are going to get benefit in the future from that future benefit is received it can be anything i own a car my asset i own a laptop my asset in fact i own this pen which i am going to use in teach this is also my asset yes yeah so for example in this given i want to give a little more big example so i will say i own a house okay and the worth of that house is say 85 lakh rupees so house worth 85 lakh rupees so i have assets worth 85 lakh rupees yeah let's keep it there and go to the next point what is a liability liability is something you owe okay o w e o which means you need to pay someone asset means you need to receive like someone need to pay me is my asset if i need to pay someone it is going to be a liability from the future cash outflow has asset right? you won't receive money in future because of a liability future cash outflow has okay you have a liability like it can be an account payable it can be a loan for example we told that i have a house right to buy the house i took a loan so the loan for buying the house sorry the loan right loan for buying the house is say 45 lakh rupees my asset is what 85 lakhs my liability is 45 lakhs yeah nice i hope it is clear thank you next is equity equity is nothing but the difference between the assets and liabilities of a company you are going to say difference between assets minus liability is called as equity so in a business the company will have assets and liabilities apart from these the owners will put their money that owners money is called as a equity in my example for buying the house i took a loan of 45 so how much is my share in the building 40 lakh rupees is the amount i paid myself right that is called as equity in any business equity is the value of the owners they invested in the business right thank you
Let's see some more concept. There are three types of financial statements everyone should be aware of. Okay. What are those three? Yes. So if you want to know about a performance of a company, you need to see the three financial statements being prepared by the company. The financial statements include profit and loss account. Balance sheet, cash flow statement. Right. So, this profit and loss account will tell you about the financial performance of company. It's like in a particular year, the company has made, in our example, 80 lakhs of sale and the company has made 35 lakhs of purchases and expenditure. The difference is 45 lakh profit. So the profit is being told by the profit and loss account, which is financial performance for that year. Same way, balance sheet will tell about financial position of the company. In this example, the company have assets worth 85 lakhs, liabilities worth 45 lakhs and the company's net worth, the company's actual worth is 40 lakhs. So this is told by the balance sheet of the company. So when you see a balance sheet, there is this owner's equity that itself tells about the financial position of the company. Yeah, nice. Then the final one is cash flow. Cash movement. This talks about cash movement. When we say cash movement, what happens sometimes? The company has made huge sales, but they are not receiving money from the customers. What can we do now? Whether I receive from the customer or not, I am supposed to pay to my vendors or suppliers. So I need to be very careful about how much money I have and how much I need to pay. To know that I need to Prepare a cash flow statement which talks about the cash position of the company, how much cash I have, how much cash I need to pay to someone, so on. Right? So, this is how we prepare accounting. This is the like the very basic topic for accounting. Maybe I will con uh, continue to explain all these topics more in depth so that you are going to understand them much better. For that, I only request you to subscribe to the channel and also share with people who might get help from watching my video. Thank you. Namaskar.